Hey everyone. Hi. We are back. And today we're going to do a new episode called what? A new series called? Let's Talk Pokemon. Let's Talk Pokemon. Good I job. Remembered. Good job. Good job. <laughs> so uh, we are going to try to rotate these uh, series in each week, maybe every couple weeks, just to kind of go through some Pokemon stuff. You guys have been really awesome. We've gotten a lot of questions, comments on our videos. Um, one of the things that comes up a lot is how do you store cards? What do you do with cards? What do you do with bulk? What's the best way to, you know, store really valuable stuff? What's the best way to store volume? So we thought we would spend a little bit of time going through what we learned, right? Basically what he has taught me. What I have, I, I was getting there. <laughs> what I have invested in her so that she doesn't destroy our, our new collection. Um, you know, we're going to start with actually opening a pack of, oh, you picked this one. Hidden In face. So let's see what we get because we do need some demo cards. Don't worry. We're just going to use the energy. Relax. <laughs> Relax. Maybe. <laughs> All right. We got a code card for you guys. Two, three, four. We have our sacrificial lamp. Yes. Fairy energy. I'm this wearing thing the right color dying. and everything. All right, and Giovanni's Exile. Yep, we Giovanni's Exile. Bronx. We are gonna keep okay. going. Ekans. You know Ekans. Coughing. Mm -hmm. Paris. You are totally shaking. Oh, sorry. Cubone. Voltorb. Shaking the table. <gasps> oh wow! Oh my God! Shining Volt. All right, so oh. we're gonna sacrifice this card in the binder. I'm just kidding. Please, <laughs> please don't unsubscribe. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, wow, we got our Espeon GX. Beautiful. Sweet. Okay. I have been eyeballing this one. Perfect. 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 <laughs> okay. Couldn't have planned this better because, well, obviously we don't plan anything, no. but could not have planned this better. Okay. So first thing you do with a card that you want to keep super, super protected is you double sleeve it. Um, there are these sleeves called perfect fit sleeves. These are the first layer that you have to get. It has to be perfect fit. And when I say perfect fit, it is extremely, extremely snug. There is basically no, um, you know, clearance on the side. It's, it's very fitted to the card. You want to put it top down over the card. And I'll explain it in a second. Okay. So perfect fit sleeve goes on top down. Second thing you want to do is just get a regular sleeve and these will be just a little bit bigger, like one millimeter bigger and you put the card in with the opening down. So the reason that we do that, do you know? So you don't get dust in there? So you don't get, ah. Oh. Look at me, I can teach this, this I can is do like, it. This is, this is a prodigy speaking right now. <laughs> so you put the top down, uh, so the opening's at the bottom, then the other one you put the bottom up so it seals the card, uh, no dust gets you know trapped in between here, it doesn't, shift it doesn't you know shake the card it doesn't scratch up the card right then what you want to do to make sure that you really really protect these is put it into a top loader um i've seen people jam their finger into the top loader i've seen people you know shove it in all you have to do <laughs> he, he's talking about me when i say people i mean her <laughs> so all you have to do is put it down and you just tap it and the card goes in and that doesn't damage the that card. That doesn't damage the card. <laughs> if you want to get it out, you just hold the card and you just tap it and it'll come back out and you just slowly pull it. Um, that is the easiest way to protect a card. So top loader in a card, uh, our card in a top loader is the most secure way possible. Okay, so we'll come back to this in a second. Now we are going to go through different ways of storing uh, cards. We store tons of tons of cards. We have bulk, we have energies. I mean, we have cards coming out of our ears and in other places. First thing you can do is storage boxes. So Champion's Path storage box uh, right here. All you do is put the card in, it stands in there, you fill it up. Uh, each of these holds about five, 600 cards. Um, you put a lid on it to keep the dust and everything out. And there you go, you have bulk storage right here. There's different types of these boxes. Some are, you know, vertical standing, some are horizontally standing, some have lids, some don't, some hold a thousand cards, 3000 cards, 5,000 cards, 8,000 cards, whatever you want to do. There's a, a cardboard box option for it. Great for quantity stored for price, <laughs> right? But zero protection on your cards, because if you're moving your boxes around, you're shifting your cards, the edges will be rubbing against, you know, the cardboard. Over time, you will have some wear, um, depending on how much you move it. 
you know, even if you just throw it in the closet, there's a, a chance that, um, you know, shifting around or anything like that will, will cause it to rub against the cardboard. So great for bulk storage, great for energy, great for stuff that you don't really, you know, care about. Common and uncommon. Common level. and uncommon, I would say, you know, throw in these perfectly fine for it. First level, okay? Then we have this bad boy. This is the death trap binder. It is the death trap binder. Um, it is a common three ring binder and it has a storage page in it, right? So what I will show you guys is why you should probably not use these types of binders if you can, can avoid it. Um, so we put our energy card in there. And if you guys can see, the edge of the card is you know pretty close to that ring binder, right? And we only have one page in here. But what happens is over time, no matter how careful you are with these, when you move the binder, you can see that it gets very, very close to the card. And at some point, it's going to nudge against the card and it's gonna make a little dimple right here. Um, if you buy you know, old collections, if you look at people with these binders you know, 10, 20 years ago, there will always be the row of cards with dimples right next to it, um, closest to the ring. You cannot avoid it. D rings, O rings, it doesn't matter. It will happen over time. If you don't care about that first row of cards and you just care about your second and third row, fine, stack it with energy. These pages are cheap. You know, binders you can buy for like two bucks, right? From Walmart or Target or whatever it is. Go crazy, have fun, right? <laughs> but just be aware that first row will always, always, always get damaged. Okay. No, no matter, matter how no matter careful, how you, careful are. you are, just it, it shifts, it moves, it's, you know, there's no protection against it. The page will fold. Sometimes you just accidentally close it wrong. It pinches the card. That first row is guaranteed to be damaged. And even if you are super careful all the time, there's going to be that one time that you forget. You forget or someone looks at your collection and they, yeah. they don't realize and they close it. And exactly. you'll have a heart attack. <laughs> all right. So... Those are the the one option for bulk, one option for do not recommend, but it's out there. I just wanted to cover that. Uh, kind of going up a little bit on the list, we have these Ultra Pro, um, you know, BCW makes them, a bunch of different manufacturers make them, plastic cover binders, right? So when I say plastic covers, these are very, very thin. They are very malleable. You can, you can move them, you can bend them. Um, they are very, very, uh, tear and cut resistant, but they are not very structured. So it's just okay. a piece of, um, you know, maybe like a half millimeter thin plastic. Uh, the difference between these, when you guys open these, you'll see um, there is no ring, right? So these are pages that are, um, you know, kind of fused into the uh, binder itself. And the pages are pretty cool, right? You want to hold yeah. this for me? Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Actually, help yeah, on the video. I'm just watching. <laughs> Thank you. You've been through this. I've yelled at you. I mean, I've taught you enough. Yes, taught. <laughs> so these pages um, have a kind of a cloth textured backing to it. Uh, there's little, you know, dots that kind of uh, are raised up and keep the card and the uh, page separate, right? Uh, the page itself is just plastic in the front, side loading. These are great binders, except if you are not careful and you just take a card and you put a card in to this without any sort of protection, right? It is very, very loose. The card is very loose and I'll show you what I mean. Like it just slides around in there. Oh, okay. Okay. The problem that you have with these binders is if you don't double sleeve these, if you don't, you know, front and back load these to where there's a little bit of pressure and a little bit of tension on these, mm -hmm. these cards will slide around. So if you're holding it sideways, right? It'll just fall out. Well, it won't, it, it gets worse. Oh. It won't necessarily fall out. Sometimes it'll slip like halfway. Oh. And when it does that, because there's only one part that it can bend, which is right on the crease right here, you will bend your card, right? So. I see a lot of people thinking these binders are perfect. I'll just throw a bunch of my cards in there. I won't need sleeves. I can save some money. Um, your cards will slide around a little bit in here, especially if you only, you know, use the front part of the page and you haven't gotten to the back part where it kind of, um, you know, thickens the pockets a little bit. Mm -hmm. Your card will slide out. Um, and again, you know, just from tapping it, you can see the edge of it is, is coming down a little bit and it's right on that crease where the fold is. 
and when you turn your pages, you know, it, it naturally bends right there. So right. if it pops out halfway, you're bending your card, you know, whether you realize it or not. Right. right? Front or back, it's just you just have to be very careful. If you double sleeve it and you put it in the pocket, it actually stays pretty well. Now I understand why we do that. Now you understand. <laughs> so all right, so these are the regular binders. Um, very, very cheap. Uh, I don't even remember. These are maybe 10 bucks or so, 12 bucks. Um, great for storage of some of the cards that you care about. You want to be in a binder or you want to display it or you want to look at it. Um, probably not the most protective. Okay. okay. Second one is the Ultra Pro binder. So these uh, are the Pro series of binders. Um, this is much thicker. There is a cardboard kind of, you know, cover on the mm -hmm. inside. Same exact binder, same exact sheets. Uh, comes with a little elastic band to keep it snug. And th the difference is this is padded on the front. Um, this is probably a good, you know, eighth of an inch, quarter right. inch thick. It's much thicker. Yeah. Uh, the, the backing is pretty structured. Um, it's a very, very thick piece of cloth or a thin piece of cardboard in here. Uh, it does not really bend. I mean, it gives a little bit, but you know, you have to actually push down to, to really bend it 90 it's degrees. It's way more sturdy than these. Yep. Like. Yep. So this is, I mean, you have to really like want to bend this right. to be able to bend your cards, right? So if you can afford it, these are probably double the cost of that just for the front and the back binders, um, panels but would really recommend it. These come in kind of a leather, fake leather feeling front and back, okay? Now, the third option, and really the third question I get asked a lot is, how do I store these bad boys? Cards in top loaders, right? So the ones that we, you know, we just sleeved up, you know, do I put these in boxes? Do I put them in display stands? You know, if there's things I wanna display, how do I do it? All right. The best way that we have found, because we want to look at our cards, we don't want to just throw it in a box, we don't want to um, you know, throw it in the closet, we want to enjoy our cards. The best way to do that, that we have found, is oh, this 50 pound binder. <laughs> Let me tell you guys what this bad boy is. All right, all right. So these are our top loaders. This is actually not a card storage binder. This is a four by six photo album. So I had the ingenious idea of purchasing this and what it actually does is allows you to double up on the top loaders. So each pocket is four by six. Um, these are actually four inches tall and three inches wide. So what you can do is you can take your top loader slide it in you can take your other top loader slide it in right next to it and there you go you have a top loader double pocket so these are super cheap uh, i think this binder itself was maybe ten dollars twelve dollars um again it is oh i need your help it's hefty it is hefty so <laughs> Um, this one is really cool because there's no, you know, ring binder in the middle. Uh, this is the same kind of material and page setup as those binders, except for photos. Um, these plastic pieces are, you know, non-acidic. Uh, they won't deteriorate anything behind it. It's, it's photo safe, so it's card safe. Um, and you can add pages to this. So when we fill this, this bad boy up, we will add more pages to make it an even better I boy. I did not realize that. I'm learning with you guys. <laughs> so the only problem we have with this, and a lot of people have asked us for kind of our collection. So we've got our Charizards, we've got our top loader stuff, uh, our secret rare page. Um, we've got some of our vintage cards in there, Nine Tails, Chansey. We've got our full arts in here. Ugh. <laughs> got more full arts, more secrets. Uh, we've got our Shining Vault, our trainer full arts. Ugh. I started our tag team collection, sorting through some of these. Got more full arts and tons more empty pages for top loaders we are still going through. The problem with this is uh, we are one, two, three, four, five, six pages in, you know, mostly front and back. This thing probably weighs a good eight pounds, 
right now. At and least. Yeah, we're not even halfway through the binder, right? So um, think about it, when you're double sleeving, when you add the heft of the binder by itself, when you add all the top loaders in, it gets very, very heavy. Uh, so what I would recommend is if you guys want to use this method to store your top loaders and look at it, take out some of the sheets, make the binder smaller. So maybe instead of you know it holding 12 pages or 20 pages or whatever, it holds 10 pages. Right. Okay. Um, that's still a good 60 top loader, 60 cards for you guys to display. <laughs> it's a good collection. It's a good view. Get multiples of these. So you're not, every time you want to pull this thing out, it's not, hey, babe, come help me <laughs> right. carry this thing. And, and we're like rolling it out on a, on a card or bringing it out on a stretcher. Um, this is kind of what we found ha that has been useful. Hopefully it helps you guys. Uh, just please be careful with whatever you guys store the binders, um, your cards in, whatever kind of binders sleeve them make sure there's no shifting it, it's the shifting that damages the cards right it's the friction and the shifting that damages the cards if the cards shift and they don't you know align perfectly in those binders you will damage your card as well um, if you can prevent the shifting if you can just make sure that you know there's friction everything is is staying together very very well where you're putting it your cards will be perfectly fine okay did you learn a thing or two i did actually <laughs> Let's talk Pokemon works, I promise. <laughs> so um, I think what we're gonna do next episode is we are gonna op go back to opening some packs. We got so much stuff we haven't gotten to. Uh, we've been picking up retail packs as well. We've been picking up you know all sorts of stuff we're seeing um, that looks cool. So we might get an advent calendar. I know you've been excited for it. Uh, the other thing we are going to do this weekend is don't forget we have our Code Day giveaway. Code Day giveaway. Code Day giveaway. <laughs> I think for our YouTube followers, we are going to do it Saturday. Don't, it's a secret. Don't tell Instagram people. Uh, <laughs> uh, what we're going to do this time a little bit differently, instead of me just flashing the code cards, I think what I'll do is I'll read out the code cards. Um, so that gives everybody a chance. We're going to do maybe a, a couple of short videos, different uploads, one during the day, one at night. Um, and then on Instagram, we're going to probably release some code cards in, in different bursts as well. So if you guys haven't already, please follow us on Instagram. Same thing at TCG for free. We got you there. Uh, follow us, subscribe on here. If you guys like the content, we will definitely continue to give you guys more stuff. And, and uh -huh. turn on notifications so you don't miss anything. There's a little bell, check it, and you'll be the first one to know when we post something and grab your codes. Okay. Yep. Anything else you want to share? Oh, if you guys have any questions that you would like for us to talk about. For me to talk about. For, for me, me to answer. And for me to learn with you. Yes. Uh, let us know in the comments below. Yeah. Yeah, we've thoroughly enjoyed the comments. It's been it's been great. Yeah. Um, we, we've actually learned tons of stuff like, you know, naming our, our big fat Pikachu Thikachu. Thikachu. So again, you know, thank you guys for that. And it's been, it's been awesome. Uh, please continue supporting us. We really, really appreciate it. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.